Today we'll be presenting on prepositions of contrast. Um, before I start, let's do a quick overview of um, what we're going to be looking at today. Prepositions can be used to propose a substitute, that is, not X but Y. For example, instead of the cold, the darkness bothered him. Uh, we can also use prepositions to contrast an expectation with a sudden or unexpected reality. Despite the cold, he was very comfortable. Now, before we start, let's review the form of uh, prepositions. So, what is a prepositional phrase? Instead of the cold, the darkness bothered him. A prepositional phrase has a preposition and an object, okay? And that makes a prepositional phrase. In other words, a prepositional phrase has a preposition and an object. That is a noun phrase. Um, remember that a noun phrase can be an adjective plus a noun. For example, instead of the cold wind, my adjective is cold, my noun is wind. Okay, it can also be, a noun phrase can also be a noun plus a preposition. So, instead of the wind from the north, here the preposition is from the north. Okay, and a relative um, noun phrase can also be a noun plus a relative clause, such as, instead of the wind that whistled, here, the wind is the noun and the relative clause that whistled. And a noun phrase can also be a pronoun. So for example, instead of it, the darkness bothered him. And lastly, a noun phrase can be a gerund, such as instead of freezing. Here my gerund is freezing. Okay, so these are all good sentences. Um, they show you what a, no a noun phrase can be. Let's move forward now. And let's look at prepositions of contrast. That is not X, but Y. So, use instead of to propose a substitute. That is not X, but Y. For example, instead of freezing, he made a campfire. That is not freezing, but campfire. Okay? Um, please remember not to confuse instead of with instead. Remember, instead of is a preposition. Instead, on the other hand, functions as a transition between two sentences and it elaborates a negative statement while proposing a substitute. Let's compare instead of with instead. Instead of, remember it's a preposition, so instead of freezing, here we have the preposition and its object, freezing. Instead of freezing, he made a campfire. Now let's look at how instead functions as a transition, okay, between two sentences. Sentence one, he didn't freeze. Okay, that's a negative statement. Let's see how instead elaborates that negative statement. He didn't freeze. Instead, he made a campfire. See, it elaborates the negative sent state, uh, statement, didn't freeze, by adding information, which is that he made a campfire. Okay, let's move on now. And let's look at prepositions of contrast, focusing on concession. Okay, so these are prepositions of concession. Use despite and in spite of to contrast an expectation with a sudden or unexpected reality. For example, despite. Here is our expectation. The man is cold. Okay. Being cold, he was uncomfortable. Okay, so our expectation is that if he's cold, he's uncomfortable. Okay. The reality, oh, it's not, it's not the case. He's not uncomfortable. So... Um, you know, is not uncomfortable. He is comfortable. Therefore, despite being cold, he was comfortable. Okay, that's our reality, our sudden reality. Okay, or our unexpected reality. Let's look at in spite of, okay, um, expectation, the darkness, it's scary, right? So, because of the darkness, they felt scared. What's our reality? Okay, maybe not. Okay, in spite of the darkness, they were happy. We expect them to feel scared, but instead, in spite of the darkness, they were happy. Okay, let's move on now. Let's a uh, quick review of contrasts of uh, prepositions of contrast. So, a prepositional phrase. Ha remember that a prepositional phrase has a preposition. In okay. Instead, uh, instead of is our preposition, and it has an object, cold. Okay, and the preposition instead of object, the cold, and that makes a prepositional phrase. 
Um, also, use instead of to propose a substitute. That is not x, but y. For example, instead of freezing, that is not x, not freezing. He started a fire, but y. You know, not freezing, not x, but started a fire, a campfire. Okay, um, use despite and in spite of to contrast an, ex an expectation with a sudden or unexpected reality. Because of the darkness, they felt scared. That's our expectation. If we're if it's dark, they should feel scared. The reality, in spite of the darkness, they were happy. And that concludes this presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have thoughts, questions, or concerns, please email me. And I look forward to seeing you in the classroom. Furthermore, um, lastly, all my sources come from Clip. Are all of my images come from Clip Art Library? Please, thank you so much for watching.